you, you did a little better on the last wave. You didn't have a seven. Noro, you need a seven. So if you just happen to be vacationing and showing up here, this is a surf competition known as the Paul Mitchell Supergirl Pro. We're the third heat of the day. Four minutes left. Marissa Hennessy, you're looking for a is looking for her fifth wave. Started off with 3.67s. So this is the only increase. And look at White going northbound towards the train, towards the pier. And she's still moving. Folks, for four of the day, starting in five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Don't upon them come three o'clock tomorrow. Better's coming in from the last seat. Sorry. Hey, there she is in the yellow. Brissa Hennessy. So fun. Oh. Quincy Davis and Marissa Shaw. They all deserve. No matter what size you're serving, all the same. It's great to see. Mr. Stanfield. Oh, great. Japanese competitors. We have seven, and she has been here for four straight years. Natalie and Sabina wearing yellow. Dax McGill wearing blue. That one section would have been difficult to make. First wave written for Dax McGill, 2.83 are swimming through. But what if only one person like this person catches the wave? Well, they'd have to uh, figure out who is the uh, surfer that would be second by way of seeding points. But we do have a need on hand. Natalie Anzavino from Torrance Beach. And where you see no priority, this is paddling and positioning. One's trying to sell the left, the other's on the left. They're going to go right or left. they got to look each other. Here we go. Surfer in yellow is in the middle of the peak. Where is she going? And we're going to back off. Surfer in white, first way for our Japanese competitor, the 20-year-old. Waited a long time, 13 minutes, basically. 12 minutes to get that friend away, but 283 and a 5.0. Surfer in blue, Dax Miguel, aggressive, taking this one. She's 16 year old, but she's a powerhouse. Dax Mino McGill, brother Finn McGill. And challenge this one. Here's your top seed, Brittany Nickel. 24 year old on her back, and, and she's got one section. She works. Our 24 year old in pink gets on the board. Surfer and White, our Japanese competitor. Next little set. We're sitting. 8 seconds remaining, surfer in yellow, second wave for Natalie Anzabino at this point. Once again, Dax, we do not have your third wave score. Which, uh, actually, not need 13, but it's heat number one. She currently is in the second spot, waiting for Natalie Anzabino's second wave. Score to come through. And the last wave for McGill was at 3.93. Beautiful move for Brittany Nickel. Having Crohn's disease since the age of seven, what a challenge for her. And now she's a high performance coach of Camarita Beach in Australia. Well, her first wave of 3.10, her second wave of 3.30. Brittany Nickel has moved up into the second spot. Our Japanese competitor, Minami Takichi. Minami, surfer in white, you need a 3.57. Natalie Anzavina. Natalie. You're looking for a 2.9 to make the difference here on her forehand, close out section, cracks the lip like at Hermosa Beach. She does it. A little white water coin. You are in third. That's the score you need. Three, five, seven, the right in on this one. And she is trying to overtake Brittany Nickel. A 2.90 would do it. A couple of turns right there. And you're trying to replace that. Brittany, surfer in pink, you need a 3.48. Brittany, you need a 3.48 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Musical chairs, all four surfers paddling for this. Our surfer in white can't get it. And five, four, three, two, and one. We're ready for the next four. Three, two, slow start to that. Heat. Yesterday we finished just after the nine o'clock hour here. Cool. And the yellow of Natalie and Savino, right?